my name is Adina Olson. Uh, I play Nat, and she is sort of the meddling mother type. Um, she really cares about her kids, though, and she's been through a lot, so she just tries to help them out any way that she can, even though they don't really appreciate it most of the time. And she's pretty funny. She likes to drink a lot and have a good time. <laughs> um, my approach to the role, I just, just have fun with it. I'm um, trying to get my uh, funny side out, I suppose. <laughs> you have to dedicate a lot of time, but it's worth it. It's fun. Um, I like the director, and I love my cast members. So it's just, it's a really good time. And my stage manager, she's great. I would say the most challenging thing has been um, my time management, probably. Trying to fit everything in uh, with school and all the other stuff that I have to get done. I'm actually a theater minor, so I'm not a theater major, and I'm not required to audition for the, all the shows like the other theater students are. And so I think I would tell anyone who's thinking about theater just to not be afraid, kind of, to go for it. Don't be afraid to audition, because I was always too chicken, and I didn't think I would ever make it. And then I finally auditioned, and now I'm in a show, and it's been really fun and a really good experience. So I would just tell them not to be afraid. Just go with it. I'm Travis Bagan, and I play Jason. He's a 17-year-old boy that hit the kid in the play. And I'm not too sure how I do it. I just, every time I've ever done a part, I just th throw myself out there, think of what he would feel and exactly what happened, and try to get myself to feel the way that I think character would feel. I have been acting since I was five at the Plains Theater in Rushville. My aunt is the director there. She's also the one-act teacher, so I've been and my dad does a lot of acting, so does my older sister, so I've been doing acting for a long time and I've lived with it. The last time it was a serious one was A Piece of My Heart at the Plains Theater in Rushville. And I didn't have a lead role. I died about four times in it playing soldiers because it's about Vietnam War. And I made a few of my relatives and friends cry in it. And I've just always enjoyed serious ones. The funny ones are fun to do, but the serious ones give you more of a challenge, more to work for. And this is the one I like to do. It deals with a lot of issues that not a lot of families would go through, but there are some out there. And it would give you an idea of exactly how they would feel, how some families would deal with it. Everybody's gonna deal with it differently, but it would give you an idea of exactly what they go through and what it would be like to meet the person that accidentally killed your son. Like any great play, Rabbit Hole is very unique. And any great play is going to have that unique quality to it. Yet, on the other hand, it is, on a, in an overly general way, a domestic drama. It's about a family who is struggling to deal with the loss that they've encountered. It's about love. It's about hope, it's about loss, it's about promise for the future, it's hilarious, it's a tearjerker, and I think that's what makes it such a rich and wonderful play and what has been so much fun to direct and so much fun working with our students on telling this story that is, on the one hand, heartbreaking, and on the other hand, full of hope and promise, and yet, like any play, that is really trying to look at life as it really might be, or as Shakespeare says, to hold that mirror up to nature, really doesn't give us any easy answers, doesn't give us any easy way out it's to say, hey, it isn't that simple, it isn't a Hollywood end. Life is more complicated than that, and relationships are more subtle and difficult than that. And I think that's what attracts us all, and is making this place such a tremendous joy to work on with our cast, with our crew, with our designers, and, and especially for me. The size of this particular cast is about five people. In fact, it's not about five people, it is exactly five people. And because it's about five people, it's about the little nuances that happen between each other, as opposed to Once Upon a Mattress that has big, dance numbers, big musical numbers, all of these things. What's especially important about this play, and because it's so beautifully written, is that it's the little nuances, the little moments, the little things that happen between two people.
between three people that happen within a family, the things that grate on each other's nerves, the things that go unsaid. It's such a wonderful little bit of embroidery in that regard, as opposed to broad swashes of color that would be common in the musical as we did in Once Upon a Mattress. It's a whole different play with a whole different story to tell. What stands out as being challenging, and yet on the other hand, it has become really for me a labor of love, is we have a lot of new faces in our production. Uh, we have a couple first semester freshmen, we have a minor who has yet to have fulfill her first major role and yet she's doing a fabulous job. We have a junior who is a new transfer, so there's a lot of new and fresh faces, students I haven't worked with before in a project of this size, and they have been nothing less than just sterling. Good people, outstanding talent, and they are working their brains out and diving deep and trying to get inside the skin of these folks and really make it meaningful moment to moment for themselves and hopefully for our audiences.